Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I'm out poolside checking out my new friend. And now he's going back the other way. This guy is so cool. Today I'm going to tell you three things that you're going to need to know about him before you decide to buy it or not. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. The water is warm. First thing that you're going to need to know is about the battery life and the three different cleaning modes. This does have a battery life about three hours or 180 minutes, and there's three different cleaning modes. There's auto, which I'll talk more about in a moment. There is the wall cleaning mode and the floor cleaning mode, and obviously there's off. So in auto mode, it's going to go ahead and clean the floor for the first 50% of that battery. Once it reaches under 50%, it's gonna automatically switch to the wall cleaning mode and that's gonna clean the walls and the water line. Once it gets down to less than 10%, um, it's going to head and go and park itself near the edge of the wall. That way, you know, it's done and you can pull it out of the water and charge it up for the next cleaning cycle. Now this automatically in auto mode transitions from floor to wall. So you can just leave this in auto mode and it's going to clean your entire pool. But if you did want those other two modes, if you want to do a cycle all on the wall, you can definitely have that option. Which leads into my second thing that you need to know is during the wall cleaning mode, it does have a potential of flipping over. On my pool design, because I have a lip at the top that kind of rolls over and protrudes out a couple millimeters, I would say it flipped over about 20% of the time. The other 80% of the time, it went all the way up above the water line, cleaned it really effectively. I was really impressed here. But that other 20%, it did completely do like a backflip. Now, this is kind of normal depending on the design of your pool. And it's just going to take a little bit extra battery life to clean the entire wall. And when this does happen, it's just going to float around in the pool for about a minute or two, get the air out of the system, and then it's going to sink back down and start cleaning the wall and the water line again. So I do recommend that you occasionally run this in the, the wall mode just to really focus only on the wall and make sure you're using the entire battery life for the wall only. But if your walls are spotless, you don't need it, go ahead, just run it on the auto and you know, you're fine. Um, but then again, you might not have this issue at all, depending on the design of your pool where it doesn't flip over and it's just going to come up to the top and clean perfectly. And now for my third and final thing that you need to know, which is kind of something they need to work on, is that the dial that you set these modes in, there's no label on it. So there is a temporary sticker, um, which I took off without thinking about it or eventually it's going to fall off on its own because it's in, the, it's in the water, but there's no markings on this dial, which will tell you which mode is which there's a little symbol, but <laughs> uh, I couldn't figure out which one was which and it's really hard to even tell what mode I was on because they really couldn't, doesn't have like an arrow where it's pointing to. So I do suggest that you familiarize yourself with this dial before you take off that sticker because we're trying to figure out later is just a little bit diff more difficult than I would like. Um, at the end of the day, I eventually did learn which one is which and how many times I had to turn it to make sure it's in the right mode that I specifically wanted. Most of the time I do leave it in auto, so I'm not worried about it and it's not a huge deal. Overall, I'm super happy with the Seagull Pro. It did a great job at cleaning my pool. Really, really nice. Really love how it comes up the wall, cleans the wall. Water line. I used to have to jump in there and sponge everything down every once in a while, but not anymore with this thing. This thing is awesome. Really easy to clean out. Battery life is awesome. You just have to remember to plug it in after one of the cleaning cycles and I'm really, really happy with this thing, honestly. Hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.